GEO provides complementary turnkey solutions for numerous government partners worldwide across a spectrum of diversified correctional and community re-entry services, from the development of state-of-the-art facilities and the provision of management services and evidence-based reha rehabilitation to the post-release reintegration and supervision of individuals in the community, GEO offers fully diversified, cost-effective services that deliver enhanced quality and improved outcomes. So, in short, GEO Group builds and owns presence, private presence. Now I know this is a controversial topic and if you don't want to own presence, then don't own presence as an investment. I will not go too much into ethics in this video here, but I just state that there is no society on earth that can operate without presence. Uh, they are a necessity product in my opinion, which we cannot live without. Uh, to quote a YouTube investor Ishfaq P. Rally, uh, who influenced uh, quite a lot with me on this investment. Uh, GEO, build, GEO builds and operates presence. They are places where you put bad people for a certain time. Boeing produces weapons which aim is to kill people. So you be the judge which one is less ethical to own in your portfolio here. Some claim that private presence are the root of all evil in US. But can that really be true? Private presence account for 8% of incarcerated people in US. I think the problems of US, of US justice system are somewhere else. If you don't want to consider owning private presence and this topic makes you feel uncomfortable in today's world, especially in today's world on what, what is happening right now in Europe, I totally understand this and um, you can stop watching this video right now. Don't go any further if you don't feel comfortable listening to me talking about this topic. If you want to share your thoughts uh, on the ethics of private presence in the comment section below, that is okay for me as long as you keep your arguments polite and well, well, well structured. Uh, I will nevertheless not comment anymore on the ethics subject as I already stated that I feel and I, I view presence in any society as a necessity product, product which every, every society needs to have. Uh, but now for those, those ones interested in investing in private presence and in, interested in this topic, let's start with the investment case. Quick facts on GEO Group. Operations in United States, Australia, South Africa and the United Kingdom. Business unit revenue is divided as such. 67% US Secure Services, 23% GEO Care and 10% International. So success in US determines basically the success of the whole company. Uh, GEO's mission is as follows. GEO's mission is to develop innovative, innovative public-private partnerships with government agencies around the globe that deliver high-quality secure facility community re-entry and electronic monitoring services while providing industry-leading rehabilitation and community reintegration programs to the men and women entrusted to its care. Then I checked the Simply Wall Street an, a snowflake analysis and what Simply Wall Street had to say about the company. Uh, according to Simply Wall Street, the company is very undervalued by at least 70% or such. Uh, and they have moderate growth potential according to Simply Wall Street. Since May 2017, the stock has lost 80% of its value. That is 80% of its value. Main reason is that Biden and Democrats would not renew private present contracts with the government. GEO's worldwide operations include the ownership and or management of 123 facilities totaling approximately 93,000 beds, including projects under development, with a workforce of approximately 23,000 professionals. The PE ratio, price to earnings ratio of companies 9.6, and the price to book ratio is very attractive, 0.8. GEO has lots of debt. Their debt to equity is 300%, but GEO plans to pay it down. Last year, GEO announced that its board of directors has immediately suspended GEO's quarterly dividend payments with the goal of maximizing the use of cash flows to repay debt, deleverage, and internal, internally fund growth. In the end of last year, GEO Group also terminated its REIT status in an effort to pay down their debt. Quick facts on the industry. 
2.12 million people in US were in prison in 2020. By percentage of total population, this is the largest in the whole world. Since 2008, the present population has although steadily started to decline and is estimated to continue declining also in the future. In a way, this seems inevitable because in, no in 2019, the occupancy level of presence was almost 96%, so you might state that the presents were completely full at the time already. One reason for decline continuing after 2020 was COVID pandemic and changes to US immigration legislation uh, that made it possible to turn illegal migrants quicker away from the US. So they were not placed in jails to wait for their, uh, the processing of their matter. Uh, which showed in numbers as less people in presence at the time. This inflow of illegal migrants is expected to grow again after COVID in the future. Why invest in GEO Group? What this comes down to is number of people in presence in the future versus available present capacity. I have reason to suspect that the US government is not able to build and maintain presence fast enough to have places for all incarcerated people without the help from private sector. One needs to understand that not everyone wants a present built next door. They are unpopular investments also on governmental level. GEO has also stated that public presents are significantly older than GEO facilities. Replacing or rebuilding them would require significant upfront investment and long lead times. So if the government really wants to push private presence, private sector out, uh, they seem to be in a hurry to start new projects, building new presence, maintaining the old presence, and this doesn't seem to be happening. Or then, uh, then obviously the other, other other way to solve the issue is less people in presence, but um, that's uh, not not too well known. Will the decline of the recent years continue as fast as 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 it has been during the recent years? A little bit unknown, but what I've read about. It seems that so many prisons are going old so rapidly that new capacity or rather the private sector capacity is needed. In 2020, US saw sharp increases in murder and violent crime rate, which is really sad, obviously. Uh, but uh, it, this is how it has been developing. Reasons are probably not yet known, but if I would need to make a guess personally, the pandemic and the growing inequality that has followed and been developing in the US must be contributing to it. You do not need to be a genius to determine that if your society becomes increasingly more unequal, th there will be more unrest and as a consequence, the crime rate will go up. Largest revenue group for GEO is immigration, and this is expected to grow in coming years. Government needing GEO's help on the southern border in the US in the future is a possible catalyst for the stock. GEO has stated that record increases in migrant flows come at a time when US immigration courts are experiencing record backlogs and average wait times. The lifting of Title 42 public health restrictions will further increase inflow and worsen capacity issues. In short, Title 42 means immediate removal of single adults apprehended by Border Patrol instead of placing them in presence to wait for their cases to be heard. Title 42 was used to prevent coronavirus from spreading by Trump administration and Biden administration has continued it. If GEO can pay off their debt, it becomes classic Benjamin Graham type of cigar butt stock with assets much more valuable than what the current stock price is re reflecting to. This is a high risk, high reward investment in my opinion, and one needs to understand the risks related to it. Still, if the company truly is value as I think it can be, there is an additional bonus for making good investment returns on it, namely short squeeze. Currently, the short percent of float is 18.65 percentage, uh, you all know what uh, the story with GameStop and I feel this has a small, small, small chance of being a small, small, small version of what happened with the GameStop short squeeze. Just as a side note, uh, Dr. Michael Burry, I'm sure everyone watching my channel who know, uh, knows who that person is and if you have checked the big short movie, you know who Michael Burry is. Dr. Michael Burry is likely to be still invested today in both GEO Group and their competitor CoreCivic, as shown in Dataromas. 
uh, dataroman.com's latest filings. In short, this is a play on assets the GEO group owns. They are more valuable than the current stock price shows. Uh, value of assets is what should make the possible losses of this investment quite limited. But for the reasons mentioned earlier, the upside seems to be quite big if everything goes well. So this is what a traditional value investor is seeking. You have a limited downside, you know uh, what is the how much I can lose with this investment, then you are fine with that if everything goes wrong. But then you have unlimited, no, well, almost unlimited upside if things go the right way, the right way you have been thinking the, uh, the stock price to go up and uh, the investment to um, investment story to go as you think it would go, why, why the stock is undervalued today. Yep, this analysis was heavily influenced by two very interesting and intelligent investors here on YouTube that I like to follow. Ishfaq P. Rally Value Investing, a man who called the GameStop short squeeze at the time, pretty impressive stuff, and the ROI channel or the ROI channel. Check them out too if you have time. These are great channels and I, I tend to watch their videos quite a lot myself. Finally, let's have a look at GEO Group in Arctic Money Investment Criteria, uh, the ranking, and finally, my portfolio as it stands uh, on 23rd of, yeah, 23rd of February when I last, last made it. I, uh, there is something I need to show you there. So let's check them out next. So let's first check out the Arctic Money Investment Criteria score of GEO Group. As you can see now, um, GEO Group scored very well, uh, 30 points out of 50 in total, which was very high on the ranking. We checked the ranking uh, in a minute, but let's first go this one through. So do I understand the business and the industry? I gave three points because uh, the asset play, the situation with the private, uh, private uh, presence sector in the US was pretty pretty simple to understand in my opinion what is the what, what is the play here so do I understand the business and the industry after reading it well three points I guess so uh, li uh, pretty well uh, does the business have moat well this is quite a difficult question to answer I gave three points because uh, moat in a sense that government can to, to build presence uh, no definitely no but if government will not build the presence and GEO Group and Core Civic, their competitor, are the only ones having facilities like this, and everybody understands that you cannot build a present in one week. So in that sense, they do kind of have a moat. And as already said earlier in the text, building of presence, whether private or governmental, is not popular. There are many cities of which which uh, citizens <laughs> don't want don't want a present built next door. Well, you obviously understand why not. Uh, not, not, not. Not a popular investment. Does the management team and the board have skin in the game? Uh, I get three points for that. Uh, the CEO, um, CEO and the chairman of the board has quite, quite a big amount of stock himself in the company. So three points out of that. They do have skin in the game. Are insiders buying the stock? Uh, not too recently, but I, I can't remember now exactly when was it, but uh, if I'm not completely wrong, it was last year that the CEO bought more stock. So at, at the time, the, he felt that the company is undervalued and the stock price has just kept on declining. And he hasn't bought more recently, but he hasn't sold any stock either. So I gave a three point out of that. So yes, insiders are buying the stock somewhat. Are super investors buying and holding the stock? Well, two points I, I give for Dr. Michael Burry, as you saw earlier. Are people who I follow buying and holding the stock? Yes, they are, uh, some of them. So two points for that too. And then the final, final uh, criteria here, the most important one with the maximum of 20 points, the intrinsic value of the company after I made my calculations. Uh, 14 out of 20, so as said, I feel the company is extremely undervalued if it turns out that government needs GEO Group's help, needs their facilities, uh, then the stock is really undervalued at the moment. But 
um, as you understand already in this point, if if they don't need GEO Group's help and they're, um, I hope for good reasons, are not, not, not as many people needing of incarceration, needing to put in presence as, as it has been before in the US, that's obviously great. Uh, I, then one, one can only hope that the society develops such a way that less people are in presence all the time. It would be a great thing. Great thing, obviously, and I want to see that happening. <laughs> it's completely what I hope for, and uh, I don't care if my my theory with GEO Group doesn't play out. It would be great to see less people in prison in the United States. But unfortunately, the reality of the future can be something else. And unfortunately, GEO Group might be needed and their facilities might be needed by the government also in a big way in the future. So that totaled for 30 out of 50 points. And let's now check where does GEO Group land in that ranking of mine compared to other other stocks, other companies that have gone through this investment criteria of Arctic money. And here is the ranking. Geo Group landed right in the second place in the ranking with 30 points, only behind Alibaba. Um, you can have a quick look at how the ranking looks uh, right now. Uh, everything you see in green is in my portfolio right now. Um, and uh, we'll check next how my portfolio is looking at the moment. But as you can already see from this table, Gazprom's ranking and valuation and pretty much everything related to Gazprom is a complete question mark for the future and thus is no longer part of my portfolio. And uh, every, everyone knows the reasons what has happened recently. Sad things in Ukraine, terrible things. And uh, yeah, let's have a look at my portfolio next. And here is my portfolio as it stand, standed on 23rd of February last week. Um, I have bought Sprott Physical Uranium Trust. That's a new position uh, last week, 9% out of portfolio. JD.com is sold completely. And uh, Gazprom, with Gazprom, I have given sell request to my broker today. And hopefully I'm I'm getting rid of Gazprom stock by tomorrow already. And uh, yeah, I don't know yet what, what which price I got rid of it. But I took losses there, big losses. But I really don't care. That's not the important thing here. You have reasons why you invest in companies and uh, you know the risks. You can check my Gazprom video I did earlier last year. There were risks. And uh, those risks materialized in the worst way possible I can think of. And I really did never think those those risks would materialize, materialize so terribly as they did in recent times. And uh, that's investing. Sometimes, sometimes you're right, sometimes you're wrong. That's not the big issue here. I'm, I'm fine with those losses myself. There are more important things happening in life right now. So... I don't know what to say more about that position, but as said, there is a big red cross on Gazprom and as I understood it, tomorrow I will not have it in my portfolio anymore. Please uh, have a look at the portfolio more closely. Uh, if you if you want to, you can stop the video here. Um, as said, Sprott Physical Uranium Trust is a new, new buy for me. I will return to that later. Um, the overall performance there, which you can see, was plus 50 last last week, but uh, it's lower than that for sure today. So no, not really important that either. We'll get get to that again in the future. What it, how my portfolio looks on the overall performance. The times are pretty volatile now. So uh, you want to take a closer look of the portfolio, you can stop the video now. Uh, please subscribe the channel if value investing is something you like. And um, I only want to wish everyone better times. Hopefully they come soon for everyone and especially the people in Ukraine. See you in the next video. Bye bye.